Every now and then, we feel pretty content with ourselves, satisfied with our own capabilities and limitations, but then there's always a younger and more successful new hotness coming along, showing us that there will always be someone to pass the torch to, and carry on the legacy to meet and maybe even surpass our own expectations. So if anyone can show me a weapon like that, I'd gladly drop the sword and shield, because it's certainly not this mighty morphing monstrosity. Welcome to a crap guide to Monster Hunter. If you ever feel like you're the smartest person in the room, firstly I'd like you to look up the Dunning-Kruger effect. Then I'd like to introduce you to the Charge Blade, a weapon that requires more prep work to get going than an elderly nun in the Mojave Desert. The Charge Blade is the ambitious little brother of the Sword and Shield, who's been hanging out a little bit too long with the Switch Axe. It's considered one of the most technical and complicated weapons in the roster, which should be no problem for a monster hunting pro like me, who can't research the deeper quirks of a weapon and gives out incorrect information because he's desperately rushing to meet an arbitrary deadline. You'll climb up onto the monster who won't be able to shake you off no matter how much Taylor Swift they listen to. While in sword mode, you have your basic watered down rip off SNS moveset. Advancing slash, short combo, block, bash, spin. It's okay, Charge Blade, we all want to be sword and shield when we grow up. What really feeds my devil, Joe, is the Charge Blade's charging files mechanic. The most notable move is a chargeable slash via holding the right face button that starts to power up elemental files a la pick your favorite weeb trash. Once they reach red, you better charge them up by way of right face button while blocking, or else you'll be bouncing off of a monster like insults being thrown at someone with crippling depression. Charging these files is essential to many of the intricacies of this weapon. And because I'm such an expert, I'm going into deep detail about all the charge blades ins and outs, so I hope you're paying close attention because I'm not slowing down for you. Are you ready? Too bad, here we go. <gasps> You primarily charge your blade by holding the right face button. Other attacks comboed out of it can charge the files as well, just not nearly as much. So it's best to primarily use the charge up slash while littering in other attacks to keep a healthy onslaught to the monster. Just remember to keep an eye on them because if you're bouncing, you aren't loading your files, and if you aren't charging your files, you quickly you won't be doing off the attack complete so, so that sure all the charge files are using your blocking board. Now we can block extra big. Don't you stop there just yet because it's time to charge more files. I'm not going to charge the files. I'm still going to use your files because again, I'm not going to charge the files. 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 I'm not going to charge the you got all that? Good, because I'm not repeating it. Now you know how to use the charge blade, you're welcome.